Hey, it's Lauren. Today I'm going to be doing a Bath in You haul and today's haul is from Lola's Organic Cosmetics and what I got was the Nightmare Before Christmas themed box. There was one before, maybe in um, August, the Alice in Wonderland one. I did not get that because I didn't want it. Um, but I picked this one up because it's exciting and I absolutely love Night Before Christmas. It's one of my favourite movies and I used to watch it every single month, like last year or something, because it was that good and I know all the songs and they're just amazing. So that's primarily why I got this um, box. I did get some other things as well on top. So what happened was all of the things arrived in the same box. No, they arrived in like a jiffy bag, but the jiffy bag was holding together these two boxes. So there were two boxes in this jiffy bag. One box was the themed box and the other box had my other items in. So I'm going to show you everything that I got for the themed box first. And then I'll show you the other things that I got at the end if you're just interested in the Nightmare Before Christmas box. So, I do want to say as well, I'm not feeling very well, so please bear with me of my nose. So, first thing is the Sally's Rose Whipped Soap. It's like a beautiful red, pink and white colour. It's really pretty. I don't think there's any glitter in this. But there is a cute little sticker it's hard to see but it is like a black sticker and the scent of this is very strong roses like very perfumed as well and that is what it looks like inside this skull is like a jelly texture it feels very squishy I'm not sure what you would do with it, I'm not really sure, but that is that. Next we have the Oogie Boogie Shower Jelly, and this has a skull in as well, there, but it feels different. This feels like actual jelly, like shower jelly, and that feels more like the hard jelly kind of that they make, but this is a soft jelly show you so you can take this out as well so i want to get the whole jelly out so this is what it looks like and it's very glittery and they have the same scent as well but i think the shimmer in this is absolutely amazing like it's insanely insanely glittery like, I can't believe <laughs> how shimmery it is but they have the same scent and I'm not keen on the scent it's very perfumed and I think the fragrance is called Ring of Roses but the fruit that is just not for me they do have a different rose scent called um, Bonbon Rose and I think that's a much nicer rose scent I'm not a huge fan, but I am looking forward to the shimmer and the colours in there. Next thing is the Clean to the Bone Body Scrub. And this is a black body scrub. It's, well I'd say it's more grey, but there's going to be like charcoal in here. And it has a chocolate scent. So it's really cool and this has a um a skull in as well the same kind in this one so it's like very squishy but that's what it looks like it smells amazing so this has a different sticker on as well it's the jack and sally again and this product has the same fragrance and it's called clean to the bone solid facial scrub so it has the same chocolatey scent and it's just a facial scrub i guess and i think i actually got a sample of this but i haven't actually used it yet 
So I got a sample in my last order which said it was a charcoal and pumice scrub. So I imagine this is the same thing because it has the same fragrance as that scrub. But I think it's really cute. Okay, next thing is the, um, it's called Jack Bath Burst. And it doesn't have a sticker, but it does have Jack's face on it. And I think it looks really, really cool. And it's a huge, huge bath bomb. Huge. And you can see that it's white, but it also has bits of pink in there. So it is like, it's gonna be colorful. It's not just gonna be a white bath bomb. And obviously you've got the black on top as well. And this was meant to have a pumpkin spice scent, but I can't smell it through the wrapper and because I'm sick. So I can't smell it through the wrapper. So, moving on, we have the Frog's Breath Body Spray. And this has a sticker on as well. It's the same one as this, but it's a much bigger. So it is quite... Big. I think it looks really good, like so much better than this sticker. And this body spray has glitter in, like you can see it all moving, that's all the glitter. I think it looks like bath shimmer when you've like put glitter in your bath or something, or bath shimmer. And it looks so good, it looks it's so pretty. I think it looks amazing and this is actually a scent dupe for So White and it's a perfect, perfect scent dupe. So when you smell it in the bottle it smells more alcohol, when you actually spray it, it's like an exact scent dupe of So White. So if you really love So White, I'm a, I really recommend getting it, it was something I was surprised that I liked because I'm not a huge fan of the scent like it is just apples so it's amazing and I'm really really impressed with all that glitter as well okay coming down to the last few items there were eight I think so this is the giant snake bubble crumble it is meant to be a snake, but there's no eyes or head or, I don't know, it just looks like a candy cane shape. I feel like they could have done something else instead of this, because I'm not hugely impressed by the bubble crumble. But it is, it's not huge either, but it will give you quite a lot of bubbles. It's probably like two or three baths. And I can't smell it all. I don't really remember what the scent was because <laughs> um, I can't remember what it was and I can't smell it through the packaging at all. So I don't know what scent that is, but I feel like they could have done something else like um, <laughs> anything. They could have done the duck that you see with the bullet holes in. And that would have been really cool, like a duck bubble crumble, that would have been amazing. It could have done anything, they could have done Jack, they could have done Sally, they could have... I don't know, they could have done something else. So that's the only thing that I'm really iffy about. And it did break as well in transit, but that's not a huge issue, because it is going to get cut up anyway. So, the last thing that I got from the box was the red devil shower gel and it has a cute little sticker on again and this has the mulled wine fragrance which is fruity it's very it's just so fruity and like it smells like fruit punch it's absolutely amazing and there is glitter in this product and the only pet peeve I have with this is that it's not filled to the top but I imagine that they just bought bottles from somewhere and then they fill it up based on weight so it is 300 grams um, I think it is good to have bottles 
that fit your products if that makes sense but I guess each shower gel will have different weights based on consistency and texture so it is good to have that but I mean you don't go into like a grocery or drugstore shop and then you see a bottle and it you don't buy bottles like this off the shelf like they're all full if that makes sense so it's more just a aesthetic thing I guess so they did send something else in the box I think it's part of the themed box because it has a little key ring or charm I guess and it is Jack so I imagine these were in all of the Nightmare Before Christmas boxes I can't confirm because I've not actually seen any of their unboxings of it at all so but I imagine they were in all of them and I guess there might have been a little charm for the Alice in Wonderland one as well so that's quite exciting but I think it was really cute so the Nightmare Before Christmas themed box was £35 and there were eight products and you also get this and I think the Alice in Wonderland one was six products so £5 for an extra two products is not that bad at all I think it's really cool so that is the themed box I'm going to move on to the other things that I bought on top of that so I did buy another body spray and it is the mulled wine one and something I just want to point out is both of these are 150 millilitres and they're not um like I've only sprayed this twice and this one twice um there's a huge difference in how full they are and I don't think the glitter really impacts the millilitres that much. Like they're both 150, they should, and they're in the same size bottle. So they should be the same fullness. So the body spray, three pound. Um, I don't know if it really translates how good the mulled wine, mulled wine fragrance is. Can't speak. My throat is actually really hurting. Um, I feel like it could be fruitier because the shower gel is amazing, the shower jelly is amazing. I just feel like it's more alcoholic rather than fruity. But it has the same amazing like glitter in there. It's just absolutely beautiful. Um, it's like mesmerizing to watch. It's really cool. Um, it's the first time I've ever picked up these and this is the Soothing Lavender Bath Soak and I'm really impressed. I wasn't really sure what it was going to be like but it said that it was came with um, Dead Sea Salt and Lavender. Oh, it smells, it's such a strong smell of lavender as well. I'm really really impressed this was £2.50 and it's 250 grams so really good value for money so really happy with that I wish they did other scents I guess but I love lavender because mermaiding baths do Epsom salts as well I think they're 50p more but they have other scents like peppermint and they have spicy scents so I have actually made an order with them and bought like six Epsom salts because I have joint pain and having baths is really good to like ease it especially bath salts as well so <laughs> I'm really excited but I mean this is cheaper but I would like other scents but I really like the amazing bath ones as well. So, moving on, I as I said, I would pick up a second mulled wine shower jelly. I did. So it is a soft jelly, and it smells so good. 
and it has an amazing amount of glitter in this one doesn't have as much in as the other one I got had but it still is absolutely beautiful and the top is all shimmery as well really happy with that I did pick up a grapefruit sugar scrub um, this was three pounds and so was the shower jelly and I got this before and it lasted 10 uses and I think that's really really good I noticed that they had a grapefruit and kiwi one but it says for face so I'm not sure if this is meant to be used on the face but I use it as a body scrub and I got 10 uses out of it like 10 plus and the scent is just a grapefruit, like pure grapefruit. So I think that smells really good and it had been sold out for a while so I thought I'd pick it up. And this product is the Rhubarb Lip Scrub and this was also £3. I think the um, body spray might have been £3.50 actually, not £3.00. And it's a beautiful rhubarb scent, but I think it's different to the rhubarb body scrub and the rhubarb bubble crumble. It's a different scent to them, but it is a rhubarb scent. And it's really nice and it feels very like soft on the top. So I think that's a fairly decent amount of lip scrub for £3. Like, you could compare the amount to Lush maybe? It doesn't say, well it says 25 grams. I can't remember how much you get in the, the Lush ones, but £3 not bad. Okay, this thing is a sample and they sent a sample of the baked apple shower souffle which I already have. And I absolutely love the scent of. It's like a spicy apple and cinnamon scent, so I'm really gonna enjoy that. I'll just put that in a bath. So that is everything that I got. Um, I'm really looking forward to the most this shower gel. Definitely, absolutely in love. Um, I really love the scent of this body spray, the so white one. And I'm looking forward to this body scrub as well because it's black and it looks cool, okay? It looks amazing. And things from my other order, separate box, um, these bath soaks, the bath soak, um, it just looks really cool and I just can't wait to use. I don't know how many uses these are, um, but I might put like a third in or something. That feels about right. So that is everything for this haul. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.